In the mid-1990s, the world was whirling round and round in its same old order. Wars, injustice, conflicts, oppression, discrimination, and exploitation were maintaining their existence as unsolvable big problems. The global powers did not appear willing to do something to solve these problems. However, it was necessary to tell the truth. More than that, to go into action. The first spark to that end was ignited in Istanbul in 1996. Necmettin Arbakan, one of the former Prime Ministers of Turkey, suggested an idea during the Development Cooperation Conference. It was necessary to unite around common purposes and goals. Eight Muslim participants of the conference, Bangladesh, Egypt, Indonesia, Iran, Malaysia, Nigeria, Pakistan, and Turkey have come together around this idea. The little spark was about to turn into a strong and warming fire. A year later, the Organization for Economic Cooperation, known as D8, was founded on June 15, 1997. Peace instead of war. Dialogue instead of conflict, cooperation instead of exploitation, justice instead of double standards, equality instead of discrimination, democracy instead of oppression should have prevailed ever after. When these principles, each symbolized with the star in the D8 logo today, became widespread in the world, the socio-economic development would accompany them. In this way, the D8 member countries would improve their positions in the global economy. To be able to find different and new opportunities in commercial relations, to have more say in the international decision-making process, and raise their standards of living. And that was exactly what happened. Since its first years, the D8 countries have begun to achieve great socio-economic leaps. While the sum of their gross domestic products was 1.2 trillion US dollars in 1997, it is 4 trillion US dollars today. This figure corresponds to almost 5% of the global GDP, the annual per capita national income. On the other hand, has risen to almost $5,000 today from below $2,000 on average in 1997. The trade among the D8 countries was at the level of $15 billion in 1997. Now, it has risen to $110 billion, the volume of trade since its foundation. On the other hand, is almost $2 trillion, indicating a hard-to-believe success. All such accelerations of the member countries have effects on not only themselves, but also the countries with which they interact globally. Because the basic concepts on which D8 rises are the ones needed by the whole world, not only these eight Muslim member countries. The works have been continued in a very busy manner to prevent any hindrance to relationships and reinforce the connections established among the member countries. To that end, the summit, attended by heads of state of the member countries, is organized biannually. The council, consisting of the foreign ministers, on the other hand, is the place where the political decisions are taken. It is also a platform where various problems are handled. The last organ of the organization is the commission. It is composed of the commissioners, appointed by the government and performs the executive function. The D8 Secretariat, located in Istanbul, directs the traffic of the whole organization. And it is also the department that organizes the meetings. Then, what awaits the world and D8 in the future? Actually, these eight Muslim countries have already proven to the world what could be achieved through unification, and that the difficulties could be overcome through dialogue and good relations. The countries that are member to this organization built this foundation of justice in which no one loses, are aware of the fact that there is still so much to do. Today, 
the world population is 7 billion. The share of the D8 countries in this population is 1 7. In other words, the total population of the country's member to this powerful organization is above 1.1 billion. It is obvious what kind of a power this population, which is mostly young, could turn into when it is guided correctly. And this is the goal of D8 for the future. It is not a dream to increase the accomplishments gained thus far exponentially by placing this young population at the focus of industrial and agricultural production, transportation technologies, tourism, energy investments, and international trade. When this happens, there will be no obstacle for D8 countries to become an economic powerhouse. With the projects D8 plans to implement soon, those six stars in its logo will shine more brightly and those six stars will light up the whole world.